It's never been more easier to communicate in 2019. We've got mobile phones, uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. We've got YouTube. So the question is, is, is amateur radio still relevant in 2019? Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Very important that you do that. I've got great content coming soon. This topic may be divisive. There's some people that think that amateur radio definitely is dead and that there's no place for the hobby anymore uh, in 2019. So the first question that we need to ask really, is amateur radio more than just communicating? I mean, we've got uh, many different platforms that we can communicate with people. As I mentioned before, we've got phones, we've got social media, but do we do more than just communicate on amateur radio? Well, I've had uh, quite a few people that have asked me about amateur radio and they've said, what is it? What's it all about? They don't quite understand it. Well. It's more than just communicating, isn't it? We exchange messages with each other, we make contacts as we call them, but it's also about experimentation, training. It's a form of recreation, it's a hobby. And it's also useful in emergency situations. And it's a real fun hobby to be in. Who are you people? Mandy, that's how ham radio works. Right now there could be hundreds of people all over the world listening to every word you say. So that question, is it still relevant in 2019? Well. Me personally, I think that it is still relevant in 2019. Just having a look at some of the numbers, uh, Dayton Hamfest has just been. Uh, there was over 30,000 people at the Dayton Hamfest. Uh, in the United States, the latest figures that I could get was about 750,000 licensed amateurs. Uh, it's slightly less in Australia, where I'm from. Uh, we're about 14,000 approximately. Uh, and unfortunately here in Australia, it seems like that it's amateur radio is on the decline. So one of the things that has been mentioned is that the bands are dead, uh, digital modes are taking over, the internet's taking over. How can we contribute to amateur radio and to continue this hobby, especially here in Australia, but also worldwide? How can we increase the numbers and the interest in amateur radio? Digital modes such as FT8 and WSJT, all the modes in that suite have really reinvigorated amateur radio. A lot of people say that it's called, it's a problem. They say that digital modes are bad, that computers are taking over. However, it has increased the amount of activity, especially on HF. In that regard, it's a very, very good thing. Now, you may not do uh, digital modes. You may think that uh, it's new. You, you don't want to do that. You want to do the old uh, voice or CW. That's fine. We need to also know that there's these other modes that people enjoy and that they want to be able to participate in. So maybe if you haven't looked into digital modes, look into it. Remember, amateur radio is about uh, self-education. It's about uh, learning new things. One of those new things is digital modes, how it operates, how it interacts with the computer, how you can make contact with someone else. For example, I'm probably the opposite. I would love to learn how to do CW. I, when I got my license, I did not have to study for Morse code. That was not part of the requir requirements. So I would love to learn Morse code. I know digital modes, I've been able to use them. So I'm on the flip side. So. Uh, it goes both ways, I suppose, sometimes, but I really want to see more activity from uh, those that uh, haven't tried these modes out. Have we tried Whisper? Whisper is another digital mode, which is a very good way to be active on the band, but still perhaps not always be near the radio. So we need to promote amateur radio to a younger audience. How can we do that? Well, there's various different means that we can do this. Number one is via the internet, via YouTube here. One video that I saw uh, on YouTube the other day when I was looking around trying to research content for my channel was this video right here. Now, that video uh, was done by a channel called hamradio.world. There's three girls that are all licensed amateurs in the United States and they've started a YouTube channel all about amateur radio. Now first of all this is fantastic because we've got young people interested in amateur radio. We've also got females interested in amateur radio which is exactly what we need. Now they were doing an interview with a young man named Jet Jurgensmeyer. Now Jet is about 14 years old 
Uh, he has newly licensed amateur radio operator along with his dad. But the main thing is, is that he plays a character on the TV show Last Man Standing. It has been promoting amateur radio. In fact, most of the crew are actually licensed amateur radio operators and they operate as KA6 LMS. You can make contact with those amateurs on the set. Now, the other thing is, is that Tim Allen is star of that show and Tim is a licensed amateur radio operator as well. Mike, KA0 XTT. We've got this promotion of amateur radio on uh, mainstream television. On the subject of Young Jet, uh, Stay tuned to this uh, channel. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button because there's some very important things coming up on this channel. And uh, I won't give too much away just now, but if you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, then uh, you'll be kept up to date when that actually happens. Another way that we could increase our amateur radio activity is perhaps we can start a project. Now, starting a project is always a good thing to do. I've got many projects that I've started, many projects that I haven't finished yet. But uh, it's if we can all start a project that's amateur radio related, and then that way we can build interest in that project by going to uh, our local amateur radio club. Uh, for instance, I'm trying to share my knowledge here on this YouTube channel, trying to increase activity and maybe we could even uh, share our knowledge on social media. So you can see how these platforms allegedly are making amateur radio irrelevant at coming together, causing more interest and more discussion. Post in forums, make sure that you do that. Uh, forums are excellent because the great retention of knowledge. Put their information into forums and then you can look that up later on. So that is very, very important. If you have a magazine, maybe it's ARRL, maybe it's uh, the Australian version, Amateur Radio, uh, just once you've got and you've used the magazine, don't put it in the cupboard. Give it to someone who might be interested in electronics or radio because you never know, they may develop an interest and become licensed. Just, uh, we, we've been talking a lot about is it relevant? Is it dead? We can go on and say, the band's dead. I never hear anybody. I never get any contacts. But let's start thinking about promoting amateur radio. Let's think about the positive things that we can do. Not about what's not happening now, because obviously there's a problem now and we need to fix it. So how can we fix it? Well, we can look positively into the future. We can think, how can we promote the hobby? How can we get more people interested in the hobby? So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that this has generated a bit of interest in what the state of the hobby is like at the moment. Uh, please like uh, this video, please share this video. We need to start talking about amateur radio, how we can promote it more. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.